everyone i am sainath i am from veltech multi college of engineering my teammates are pranav venu and lokesh my project is about designing of missile controller using mpc and adrc um, nowadays uh, the military technology are developed advanced and to accurately reach the target we need to improve more weapon and accuracy so i have used simulink to process the data and uh, some of the mathematical calculation to accurately predict the target so let's view it i have created a file and these are the initial values that used for example target these are initial values that are used to locate the target and these are the missile velocities and these are the control loop gains that is used to uh, amplitude the input signal so let's run this file so yes let's send this file so i have created four parts one is target motion pn guidance missile control system and missile motion first of all we can see about missile control system missile control system is built using a tree loop Uh, autopilot system in this project i have used closed loop system the closed loop system used to predict the target and it can reduce the error very easily and here we can get the input from the seeker seeker is nothing but it is used to detect the input of the target so the signal is passed into the circuit and it is accurator accurator and it is used to detect the target uh, distance and it is calculates the distance of the target and it's use it is ta- this g2 function is used to predict the acceleration that you want to produce by the missile and the closed loop is finished and it, it uh, the signal is gained using this amplitude and secondly this loop runs again and it reduces the disturbance and this process is continuously done and this whole loop is finished and the signal is passed the signal is passed to missile motion missile motion is nothing but it is the motion of the missile is to be predicted for example the missile motion can be predicted using vm cos function and vm sin function i have designed a simulink circuit for this formula the input is g- gathered in the circuit and it is simulator and the input is multiplexed and in the input is uh, processed in the closed loop system then the input is passed to pn guidance so it is the pn guidance the pn guidance is nothing but a uh, png proportional navigation uh, system so uh, it's predict the aerodynamics uh, and atmosphere the situation uh, that the missile is launched so these are the calculation done in pn guidance and if we see the scope the it is the um, it is a target that is hitting so
it is a target motion target motion is calculated using the same formula vt cos and vt sin so vl is the lag initially if a missile starts it has some lag so we are producing a lag here So it is a closed loop system. The in the signal is run between this closed loop system until the disturbance is reduced. So if we if we have gathered six point seven four three, it is the missing distance. You, the missile can be hitted the the target in any scenario, but it is if it missed the target, it could be six point seven four three. So these are the outputs. There the missile and the target. So my main idea in this project is, uh, I have created a controller, but it used a missing distance of six point seven three. After so I have used ADRC and MPC. We can compare the ADRC and the MPC by fixing the ADRC and MPC controller to to my uh, missile controller I have created. So we can find which. Uh, a control is best ADRC or MPC. So let us do uh, ADRC. Okay, it is the ADRC controller I have fixed in this circuit. So let us examine. So okay, it is the ADRC controller. Uh, it is a critical gain in the ADRC controller. I have set it to 2000. The critical gain is nothing but is the value used to boost up the ADRC controller to work it. So, in ADRC, I have passed a reference signal and the signal from our uh, missile controller. So, if we run this, We can get a distance of 5.039. So the actual distance of 6.743 reduced to 1. So it is a good improvement. ADRC is nothing but uh, active disturbance rejection. So it reduced the disturbance. So let us examine with MPC. It is a MPC controller. So in MPC, I have used. Uh, MPC controller in MPC there are three parameters uh, reference signal <coughs> then the signal is modulated then the output signal so we have gathered the output signal from our missile controller and the reference signal from our missile controller and the MPC is um, uses a technology called model predictive controller so it's predicted uh, target by some of the algorithm it uses and if we run the program it used the 
output of 0.6 so the distance between the missile and the target is decreased further so from this we can find that uh, MPC is far good than ADRC so it is the graph of MPC it is reduced to 1 so thank you from the conclusion is um, MPC is greater than ADRC so we can reach the target easily using MPC controller thank you